things I find interesting about financial inclusion that I think is being questioned is, well, how do, what's the measure? And this is the classic banked versus unbanked. Do you have a bank account measure, right? Which um, I would argue is actually quite weak, right? Uh, I'll explain why in a minute. You see tremendous disparity in terms of income levels, clearly. Gender gap and household shifts, particularly prominent in sub-Saharan Africa. Again, I'm not going to lecture to people about their own region. Uh, but I think this is the point. I think it's become apparent over the past 12 months that actually measuring financial inclusion by do you have a bank account, that's a very poor proxy of positive welfare effects for an individual there's supposed to be a welfare benefit from being financially included. Whether I have that, I capture that, by simply having a bank account is a big question mark. So the FinTech, are people here familiar with the FinDEX data that does the surveying? And I think that was one of the big things that came out in 2017 of you know, half the adults who save using a financial institution, uh, or 50% save using, one third of the unbanked adults safe. So in other words, in short, just because I have an account doesn't mean I use it. So this is why what I'm going to be talking about is really more around the financial services that are indicators of financial institution because they actually deliver benefit to either an SME or an individual in terms of de-risking their daily life, for example, or contributing somehow to their prosperity. Um, People sort of know this stuff, I think, but you know, you're, you know, it's a simple, simple model in context to really talk about, well, where is the impact happening, right? Ability to pay, ability to save, ability to borrow, ability to manage risk or get advice. And when you take a look at the technologies, and I think these are arguable. I mean, I think that certainly, you know, mobile, um, uh, crypto, data cloud, AIML, um, looking at the weighting of the high and low impact across this, I think the bottom line here is around speed, cost, transparency, access, and security that is really driving what I would suggest is the unbundling of financial services. If I go to a market like Brazil, where um, the banks had a cooperative payment system uh, in the past, say, 12 months, it's been decimated. Um, and it's largely been decimated through Mercado Libre. I don't know if anyone knows that e-commerce player in Latin America. It's all, it's, you know, in Latin America, it's, I think, bigger than Amazon. It's publicly listed. But essentially, off of the back, essentially, e-commerce, sort of uh, Alibaba-like activity with small merchants, they have broken into and severely disrupted the payment system using some of these technologies. So what you're seeing is that unbundling is being driven by pockets in the value chain where the value created historically in certain positions in that value chain don't deliver the value that they used to deliver, right? And very open to um, competition from third parties. And you result, I think, in a transformation that's going on that I think is really interesting, which is essentially moving from what is a completely kind of vertical world where financial services was a vertical like manufacturing or anything else to a transition through the internet where it became, you know, the, te the technology became foundational to the point where with platform business models, this is exactly what happened in Brazil, essentially it becomes an enabler, it's horizontal. So I don't know how familiar people are with the Chinese market and Alipay and those platforms, but people don't use financial services on those platforms um, because they want to use financial services. They use it because they want to pay their dentist. They use it because it's just convenience and how they go about their daily life. It's disappeared as a vertical. And I think that's the important shift that's happening, is that financial services is just supporting other verticals, which these porous boundaries around these verticals are essentially dissipating. 